Hello guys, welcome to my channel called Mom's Vida. And in today's video, I'm coming up with a very interesting recipe called Corona Curry or you can say Corona Snack. Now you must be thinking, Ah, Lakshmi, you want to kill us? You want to feed us Corona? No, 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 no. Lakshmi is not that bad, huh? See, what is happening basically, I just gone through internet. We all do, you know, browsing and all those things. So while going through YouTube, I saw this number of videos which are showing something very viral going on in India right now. There are a number of restaurants coming up with a very innovative ideas to make Corona inspired food, to increase the awareness among the people and also which is good for their business also because it's getting viral, their business is also getting high. So there they are making mask parotta, they are making uh, dosa in the shape of corona. And there is a very interesting curry which made recently very viral from past one month it is called Corona Curry. And this gravy is made in uh, one of the restaurants in Jodhpur and its name is Vedic Multi Cuisine. So you, if you are there and if you want to try it, you can go there and try this recipe. But if you cannot go there and you want to make it, today is the recipe. I'm going to share of that one. So this recipe, you can try it in two ways, either in a snack way or with the main course. So basically this curry is served with the naan, which is shaped in the uh, like mask. I'm not going to do that thing because I found it very tricky to make that thing. But in the next video, I will share that recipe also. But today, just only these two things. I hope you guys will enjoy. So, do you want to start? Come with me to the kitchen then. So first, let's start with the preparation of Corona Kofta, which you can enjoy as a snack and also add to the gravy to enjoy as a main course dish. For Corona Kofta, take one cup of boiled potato, one cup of shredded cottage cheese, two tablespoon of chopped coriander, then one teaspoon of cashew nut and raisin, one tablespoon of ginger garlic paste, cumin powder and garam masala. Then also take a cornstarch of about like two tablespoons and then you need salt to taste and finally oil to fry. Now take all the ingredients in the mixing bowl. The mashed potato, paneer which is the Indian cottage cheese, ginger garlic paste, coriander, raisins and cashew nut which you can skip it if you are having allergies then all your spices then add salt to taste and 2 tablespoon of cornstarch now mix everything very well with your hand and form it like a dough Take one tablespoon of mixture in your hand and roll it into a ball. Once form into a smooth ball, then pinch them to make the spikes of the corona. Try to make as many spikes as you can. Once done, place it on the plate. Then try to finish all the mixture in the same way. So if you have missed before, I show you one more time. Make a ball and then pinch from all the side to make the spikes of the coronavirus. You see, it's not that difficult.
once they are done take enough oil in the pan and fry them very well until they turn golden brown color once they turn golden brown color take them out and put it on a paper towel to soak all the extra oil from the koftas then serve them hot on the serving plate you can serve them with some chutney or with ketchup in either way they are delicious Now let's start with the gravy preparation for the corona curry. So for that, you will be needing 1 cup of onion, 1 cup of tomato, handful of cashew nut, 1 bay leaf, 2 to 3 cardamom green cardamom, 1 black cardamom, 4 to 5 cloves, cumin seeds, cinnamon powder, garam masala, cumin powder, coriander powder. Kashmiri red chili powder, sugar, ginger garlic paste, then cream, salt to taste, and little bit of tomato paste, and also the oil and butter. So in a pan, take one tablespoon of oil, and to that add bay leaves, cumin seeds. and all the whole garam masalas the cumin cardamom and black cardamom then add one cup of onion and saute them very well until they turn little soft once the onion gets soft add the tomatoes and fry them until they get little soft now add the cashew nuts and then fry them as well then add little bit of water and let them boil until all of them get soft once all the water is evaporated and onion tomato everything gets nicely cooked then put off the flame Once the mixture is little cool, add it to the blender and make it into a paste. Then in a pan take one stick of butter and little bit of oil and let it melt. Once the butter is melted, add the paste which we have made. To that, once it is fried, add all the spices except for the garam masala and kasturi methi and then mix them very well then add little bit of kasturi methi and the garam masala give it a nice stir so once the mixture is thickened and you can see little bit of oil coming out then add little bit of water and mix it very well then bring the gravy to a boil on high flame once the gravy comes to a boil 
give it a nice stir and then lower the flame and at this point add the cream so that it should not get split mix it very well and again let it come to a boil once more Once the gravy reach to the desired consistency you prefer, then put out the flame and serve it in the serving bowl with a little bit of cream and adding the paneer koftas and garnish it with some cilantro and eat it with some naan. So now let's try it. Just without the naan, first time I'm gonna try. Oh my god! Mm, it's so delicious. Now let me try with some naan. Oh my god, it is so delicious. You will not believe it. I have to take another bite. I have to take another bite. It's so delicious. Let me dip it in the gravy also. Oh, so. Here you go, Corona Kofta as a snack and Corona Curry served with mask naan. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you like this recipe, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe with your friends and family. Finally, take very good care of your health. Don't forget to wear mask while going out or in public gatherings and maintain proper social distancing. Take care and thanks for watching.